Hi again, everyone. With me, I have Christina Tran and Rochelle. Um, you guys, please introduce yourselves a little bit, talk about why you took CS50 this semester, and then tell us about your project. Um, well, like, like Sophie said, <laughs> I'm Christina. I'm a junior math concentrator in Winthrop. And I took CS50 because I'm a math major. So I do a lot of programming for like things I explore in math. So I just wanted to improve my Python skills. Rochelle. I'm Rochelle. I'm a junior in Leverett studying chemical and physical biology. So I'm a pre-med student, uh, but taking computer science was something that I was interested in because uh, my brain is function to like to analyze the ways in which different functions happen mathematically and scientifically, but I wanted to apply that into a computer setting considering that computer science is a very growing industry and can be very applicable to the medical field. So I wanted to firsthand grab some knowledge about programming. Okay, great. Thank you. So tell us about your project. So we made a Chrome extension that is called Sensor. So all you do is you click on this little pop-up in the corner and say, you're a CA for CS50. So you have all this pent-up anger against David Malin from like one semester of work that he's put you through, right? <laughs> so you open this pop-up and you type in Malin, hit Sensor, and it'll go through and it'll change all instances of Malin to just asterisks. But there are practical applications to this. Say like you're really avoiding movie spoilers or if you have a word that makes you like really emotionally upset mm -hmm. so you don't want to see it when you're browsing the internet. So we can show you an example of that one too. So in this situation, maybe you're reading a book review on uh, Toni Morrison's Beloved, so that's a very racially charged uh, novel. And let's say that the word slave is very triggering for you. You can use this Chrome extension to uh, censor it. You type in the word slave and then if you want the whole sentence censored for like a higher level of censorship you can select that and accordingly as you will see anywhere where the word slave or slavery was included oh, is wow. removed so that happens throughout the entire that is book so review. impressive yeah and you can definitely do this before you open any web page and it'll just go through and change all your tabs for you but you were just showing us the before and after yeah this right. this demo. that's really great and were chrome extensions something covered in the cs50 course material no so <laughs> this involves a lot of just using the skills that cs50 gave us in terms of being able to problem solve and being able to think about functions and uh trying to imagine what you would want your function to do, with also a lot of Googling and YouTube to actually learn what Chrome extensions are made of. Yeah, I definitely get that. And I think that's one of the highlights of the CS50 experience is the final project, is that you get to explore things that you might not have covered in class and just do something that uh, is personal to you and that you enjoy. Um, where do you see this going in the future, possibly? Uh, we could definitely expand functions. I've heard of other apps that explore like trying to censor audio. So if okay. you're like say on YouTube, you could use some kind of like uh, speech recognition software in order to like translate into a transcript and then go through that transcript and very quickly and then play like beeps or like whatever noise you would want mm -hmm. in order to censor the word like in audio format. Ooh, so adding yeah. an audio element that could be really interesting, especially considering just how much uh, media visual media we consume nowadays, that could be helpful. Yep. Um, that's all I have for you guys. Thank you so much for coming down and tell us about your really great project and enjoy the rest of the fair. Thank you. Thanks.